What's up everyone? Welcome back to Uncage International. Like always, I just want to say thank you for joining us and listening to these, uh, these, these messages and allowing me to speak into your life, allowing me to share what's on my heart, that it will go forth and it will touch you, it will reach you, and it will, I believe, change your life. You know, I just got back um, not too long ago from Australia. This is my first video since I've been back. And I got to tell you, man, Australia was awesome. Hillsong Conference was awesome. I got to see some of my um, favorite speakers live. Um, Joyce Meyer, Joseph Prince, Steve Furtick, Louis Giglio. I'm telling you some powerhouses. Brian Houston of Hillsong. Man, life changing. These messages were so awesome. And basically, all of them together was, just go for it. Why not? Take what we're learning, take what we're hearing from this conference, and launch out. Launch out into the deep. You know, I, I was so excited to be sitting there. I was, re, you know, had them recording on my iPad, and I was so amped and so just... um man, just to the next level with everything. I had ideas in my head and, and, and it was just, it was phenomenal. You know, and I had these plans of when I got back home and to share with my wife and, and about um, Uncaged and where I want to take it and, where, and, and the things we want to do with it. You know, it, it's so awesome that you feel that way, right? You get so pumped and so ready and, and then you get back and... and you know, you get back into the way of life, right, with a plan of what you want to do, of everything you've learned and, and have been taught from all these wonderful speakers, these encouragers, and, and I'm telling you, it, it, it was so awesome because, you know, flying back, I was just like, yeah, 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 right, couldn't wait, right, just the spirit man wanted to jump out, wanted to go for it. And then, you know, it's so awesome. And then, and then life tries to take over. Anybody feel me out there? Life tries to remind you that you can't do these things. Life tries to remind you that there's not enough time in the day for you to accomplish your dreams. Life tries to tell you that you have to live a certain way. That it don't have time for, for you to, to think outside of the box and to launch out into the deep. That you have to get back in the way of life on how you left it before the conference or before whatever uh, event you went to or whatever you might be going through. You know, I, I remember I got back and, you know, on my way back, I got stuck overnight in Texas at the airport. All the planes got canceled, you know, and I was so bummed, right? And then I sat back, you know, I, I, it, it's not always the enemy trying to hold you down, you know, uh, my planes got canceled, and I thought, oh, the enemy, the enemy, and then I started to realize maybe, maybe it was a blessing that I didn't get on an airplane because of the weather conditions, so I sat back, and I, and I just began to, to watch my surrounding, watch people, you know, live life, you know, watch them, how they react in circumstances when unexpected things come their way. You know, when those planes were getting canceled, there was so much chaos in that airport. You know, people frantic and people running around trying to catch on other flights and, and families crying and the hustle and bustle of just everything going off. And I sat back and I was like, wow, life. Man. You know, as I sat there and watched, I just had to remind myself of how far God has brought myself, my family, my dreams. You know, when I got home, you know, I, I, I finally got home and I was still excited and, you know, and then and, and I went back to work and I had to go to my job, you know, eight hours a day, you know, doing the things I do and trying to figure out, you know, the awesome things I want to do for Uncaged and, 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 and just sharing it with my family and you know little by little life starts to happen and it tries to creep up and keep that reminding 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 that you can't do this 
you know, you start to you start to pull back. Can I just be real? You start to pull back a little bit. You'd be like, man, man. You know, but but the awesome thing is, is you know, I came back changed and I came back different. You know, it's a daily reminder. I have to remind myself daily of of what I've learned and what God wants me to do. When I was in Australia, God basically gave me all the ingredients that I needed to launch out. And I just need to put them in that bowl and I needed to mix them up. And by faith, through that mixing, right, when you put it in the oven, you expect the perfect outcome of those mixtures, of those ingredients being put together. You expect that perfect end result. You know, so it's right there. He's given it to you. He's given it to me. And I just have to remind myself daily that I can, that Uncaged can go where I want it to go, where God has shown me where it needs to go, where it, where it will end up. You know, for me personally, for my, for my wife and all the hard work she does and for my family, you know, even, even for my marriage, even for my family, the growth. You know, I've learned so much in that one week I was there. You know, I went with the expectation. You know, when I was there, a good friend of mine, um, he, he, he gave this message on making room. And the awesome thing about this, you know, he gave some points about making room and, and one of those points, actually two of these points I'll, I'll just never forget, it just stuck with me. And one of those points was, prepare for what you expect. Prepare for what you expect. So I challenge you, are you preparing for what you expect? You know, I'm preparing for what I expect in my life, in my marriage, in Uncaged, and where it's going to go. You know, that's exciting. You know, and the other one was invite the possibilities again. Some of you have let the possibilities fade. Some of you have let the possibilities go on the shelf and collect dust. Some of you have put it under the bed, in the closet. Some of you are trying to forget the possibilities. Some of you just, just let, it, let it go through and, and, and got cobwebs all over it. I say, invite those possibilities again. God wants you to invite those possibilities again. God wants you to prepare for what you expect. You know, life. Ha. Come on, somebody. Life. You was put here. You live it. You know, I just want to encourage each and every one of you as I encourage myself. Come on. Let's launch out. Let's put the ingredients together. Let's put it in the oven and let's expect the perfect outcome. Let's expect that wonderful, wow, end result to come forth by your hard work, by preparing for what you expect, by, by you know, um, inviting the possibilities again. Man, I'm telling you, it's great. It's great to be back. It's great to, to do these videos, to get back on track, to encourage, to speak into people's lives, to, to give me this opportunity to share about, about what I'm going through and what I'm going to do. And, and, you know, and, and I'm so thankful that people hold me accountable. I'm just excited. I'm just excited. So I just want to encourage you. Go for it. Dream again. Dream bigger than you did yesterday. Every day you wake up is the best day of your life. Take full advantage of it. Do something you've never done in those past days. Step out. 
See, uncaged will only go as far as I take it. Opportunities there. I just got to step out. Step out by faith. Right there. My hat says no fear. <laughs> Woo! Come on, somebody. I just want to thank you all for support and encouragement through tweets and texts. And, and, and just, the, just, just let me know that, you know, L and I are touching lives through social media and touching lives right through these videos. I'm so blessed, so honored. Go for it. You can do it. I look forward to praise reports. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. So, I think I'll leave you with this. Live life and don't let life live you. Go for it. Take over. Word. Peace.